Hi, it's Lisa Cuneo and welcome to my scrapbook table. Today I am finishing up my swaps for Ginger's Corner November main swap. The theme is Forest for the Trees and anything with trees is allowed. So I am working with the supplies you see here. Um, I have a Tim Holtz tree die that I cut two different sizes out of a white glittery paper. Then I am using some um, smooth cold press watercolor paper along with five different colors of Distress ink. One is Distress, the rest are Distress Oxides. I have Twisted Citron, Peacock Feathers, um, Speckled Egg, the one I'm using right now is Evergreen Bough, and I think the other one is Salty Ocean, but I can't tell for sure because I do my editing on my phone and it's too small for me to see the writing on that lid. I am not going after perfect coverage here. I want layers of color. I want the greens to peek through. I want there to be light and dark blues. And so I just keep working at it until I get to a place where I like it. I sprayed it with water. Then I um, dried it with my heat tool. And you'll see in a moment that I used the direct, or I used the packaging technique on this one. Um, I actually ended up doing four different pieces of this paper. I had just scraps in a folder. So I pulled them out and made them work for the sizes that I needed. And um, some are more blue, some are more green, but they're very similar. And I had so much fun playing with this ink. It had been a while since I just got inks out and played. I wasn't after any particular look. I just played with ink till I got something that I liked. So I spray them with some water and then grab a piece of plastic and just dip it down in there and bring it over to the paper. And again, I am not after even coverage or perfection. I want this to be splotchy. I was going for a bluish green background for behind the white snowy trees. Here's another one that I did. I did add a little more ink to that one later, but um, they will dry. Like the the square one had already dried overnight, and they um, they soften. I find they soften as they dry. So now I am turning these into tags and I pull another tag topper in, but I decide to go with the size I already had. So then I just snip off the corners. I kind of made them in batches of four and I think I ended up with 12, 10 are for the swap and I will keep two. So here we go. Now you can see that I've added white splatter. At first, I used Dina Wakely um, gloss spray in white, and it took on the some of the ink color. It still showed up light, but it had a bluish green cast to it, and I wasn't real pleased with that. So then for some of them, I, um, I didn't do all of them with that spray. So then the next set I used some, oh, I can't think what it's called. Oh, just white gesso. And I dotted that on and that did better than the Dina Wakely spray. And then on some of them, I added some silver splatter. So they aren't all the same, but that's okay. They don't have to be all the same for the swap. Mine are just, some people send lots of different ones. Um, I tend to send them you know, 10 that are similar, but I use up what I have, so they do not match exactly. Then I took a scrap, some several scraps of paper from my drawer where I keep white and black and silver, and I just freehanded some curves and glued two layers on to represent some snow. And I don't show you me making the birds, stamping them and cutting them out with the die, but I did use a Stampin' Up! set. I don't remember what it's called, but it had some little birds in it and a matching die. 
And so I used a scrap of red paper, stamped out the birds, and cut out the, cut the birds out with some dies. So here's what I have. You can see I've added reinforcements to the top, and I've added silver cord. I was short some trees, so for the ones that I'm going to keep, one of them just has one tree, and one I used some other paper to make the trees. Here they are the still shots. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll have a link in the description box below so that if you're interested, you could check out Ginger's Corner and maybe in 2025, you could join some of our swaps. There are mini swaps and main swaps and it's all really fun. The ladies there are so kind and welcoming. So I know you'd have a good time doing that. Once again, I appreciate you being here and watching. I would love it if you'd subscribe if you haven't already or give me a thumbs up. Have a great day, and I hope you get to scrap something soon. Bye!